celebrating Women's History Month and it's so impressive and inspiring to me how many women have made history both within and outside of the LGBT community. I'm proud to have been the first out lesbian ever elected to the United States Congress and I'm proud of so many of the achievements from uh, lesbian sisters across this country and across the globe. that women candidates have been particularly successful. For example, Kathy Webb in Arkansas was the first openly gay elected state legislator there. Simone Bell, who was recently elected to the State House in Georgia, she is the first openly lesbian African American state legislator in the country. And then we have states like Nebraska, where Barbara Baer was elected to the Lincoln School Board, the first and only openly gay elected official in that state. The only way to really get our voice accurately and effectively and really loudly heard is to have members of our own community at the table and to have diverse members of our community at the table. And I want to thank the Victory Fund for recognizing the important role of women in having a voice at the table. Look me in the eye and tell me that Kim and I aren't a family, that we don't struggle every day, that we don't pay taxes, that we don't work every day for this city. No one can look me or her in the eye and tell us that because it is not true. It's a very powerful message to have women at the table. You know, none of us check our life experiences at the door when we uh, walk into work. We bring those experiences with us and those experiences inform our policy making. So, Without a diverse uh, a group addressing policy, we're not going to reflect America.